Hi everybody, it's Ben here. Behind me are solar panels. I installed myself on my garage about three years ago, and you're not going to believe how much money the power company owes me. Now also make sure to stick around all the way to the end of the video for some exciting new information on what we've been doing with solar. So normally what I'd be doing at this time is uh, sharing my electric bill with you, what it comes to because I have the solar. Uh, we're actually breaking format this month. Typically what I would be doing is uh, literally have my electric bill, open it up on camera. I have a pretty good guess, but it's still just that, just a guess. Um, I'd take a guess, you'd take a guess, we'd both find out at the same time. Now what I actually have here is three months worth of electric bills. I've actually been off of YouTube for a little while. Just a lot of craziness going on in my life. It's August right now, so the last electric bill is gonna be this previous month's, which would be considered July. Now, no, my electric bills aren't actually from like the first through the 31st. Uh, typically, they're the 21st of the month through that same day the, the next month. But basically, I'm gonna be calling these uh, the May, June, and July electric bills. So if we just take a look at here, um, let's start off with our May electric bill, and we'll come in close here. So essentially in our May electric bill, we overproduced 267 kilowatt hours of electricity. Now, uh, quite a lot of that was at a 20 cent per kilowatt hour rate. Uh, because I'm on a time of use plan now. And so in the end, uh, basically I was credited $57.26. In the next month, taking a look at the uh, June electric bill here now, I overproduced 239 kilowatt hours and was credited $58.45. Now what's happening because I'm not paying an electric bill is basically I'm getting credited and that's just rolling over month to month. So you'll see, first of all, I already had a credit. Then I had another 57 bucks added to it for over a hundred dollar credit. The next month I had over $50 added to it, $160 credit. And now if we look at the most recent electric bill here, um, it was a little bit lower. This past billing period, I only exported 77 kilowatt hours of electricity. Uh, I think that was mostly because we were using more air conditioning. It was warmer weather. Also, the warmer weather, uh, solar panels just do not produce as well as they do when they're cooler. So that works against us as well. But still, I earned a uh, 44, almost $45 uh, credit that month. And that actually brings that grand total to over $200 that the power company owes me. So no joke, right now they owe me 200 bucks. And I'm just gonna keep that number rolling so that as we get into the fall and the winter, uh, when I do have to pay an electric bill, it's coming out of that money right there, that credit. So a little less than a year ago, I was able to go on to a time of use plan. So essentially my electricity costs more and conversely is more valuable during the day and it's less expensive slash less valuable at night. But this works out great when you've got solar because if you need electricity, you're just making it yourself anyways. And then with electric cars, uh, typically those are charged at night. So my family has two plug-in vehicles. So we're able to make the electricity, earn the money during the day, use that inexpensive electricity at night for charging the vehicles. Now this has also been the summer of COVID. That's caused a lot of craziness for a lot of people. Uh, one thing that hasn't changed too much for us though, is how much electricity we use and how much we use our cars. That's actually stayed more or less about the same. So when we look at how much we're earning in terms of the solar here, uh, very little of that actually has to do with um, uh, changes uh, this summer, this year versus say uh, summer of last year. Now, a couple other things you also have to keep in mind. If I'm getting a $50 credit per month, it's not that that solar electricity was worth $50 to me. It was actually way more than that. You have to keep in mind, I'm powering my house, I'm powering my garage, I'm powering two cars that I didn't have to you know, buy any gasoline for whatsoever. And then on top of all that savings, I'm also essentially getting paid $50. Now, another thing that people often overlook is that if you go to a job to earn money, you then have to pay 
income taxes on that money to be able to pay your electric bill. And in some cases, you have to pay sales tax on that electric bill as well. So by simply making your own electricity, it cuts out a lot of that taxation in there. And depending on what tax bracket you're in, that might mean that your electricity is actually like 30% more valuable than you think it would be. And those types of things are often uh, not included when we talk about a simple economic return on investment. Now, when I installed these solar panels back here, uh, it was about $6,500 for this system, which is about 6,500 watts or about a dollar per watt. Now, it's only about 5,400 watts on the AC side once uh, we've done all the conversions and can use it in the house or in the grid. But I put this up about three years ago. Uh, it always looked like the math predicted that I would make about $1,000 per year worth of electricity. It's been three years. I just did the math and checked the numbers today. And yeah, it's between uh, three and $4,000 worth of savings looking at just the simple economic return on investment. So yeah, we're actually looking at about a six year return on investment uh, putting up some solar panels. And if you actually do the math to convert that into like, a, well, what if I invested in the stock market, for example, uh, that's some really good numbers. And the thing is, it's guaranteed. It doesn't go up and down. Well, unless of course, um, you know, the, the cost of electricity goes up in your area, then the value of your solar actually goes up with it. Now, one more thing here, uh, basically because solar has been going so well, I did do something recently. In fact, I added more solar. So it wasn't a tremendous amount. It was only two more panels. Uh, these are 260 watt nominal panels, but you'll see there's no more space on the garage for them. I do, however, have a small shed immediately behind my garage. So I mounted two panels on there. And in fact, that didn't cost me any money because I already had the panels. It was actually a pair of panels that I bought to sort of just learn about solar before doing this big install. So now I'm gonna be making about 8% more electricity because I've got 24 panels. So two more would be, uh, you know, one twelfth more. One twelfth is a little bit more than 8%. And it looks like I got some neighbors uh, waving at me over here. <laughs> but the exciting thing is I did put up those solar panels but also when I did it, I filmed the entire process. And instead of me filming everything while I'm doing it, I actually had a friend who's a cameraman stop over. We did kind of a this old house kind of a setup uh, to show you how to install solar panels. So uh, if you want to make sure that you see those videos as they come out, make sure you subscribe so that you'll get those as they're coming. Uh, thank you so much for watching these videos. I really do this to try to um, encourage people to learn do it yourself, uh, to save money, have green by going green. Um, I do have a lot of this information is all available on my webpage, 300mpg.org. Um, I've got a link in the description for you going right there, going to more information about the solar. But you know what? The truth is solar just plain works. Until next time, stay charged up.